Today we're going to be looking at Psalm 30. And Psalm 30 is an all too familiar path that we all walk on with the Lord. I've actually drawn a pretty impressive graph to show you exactly what I'm talking about. In Psalm 30, David starts on this high ground. Something happens inevitably to throw him down into the pit. And then he pleads to God for help to be lifted back out. And along the path, I'm going to suggest that we do three things. That when we're here, we start with God. When we're thrown down into the pit, that we stay with God. And then last but not least, as we are lifted up, that we seek the face of God. Let's take a look at Psalm 30, and I'll show you what I mean. In verse 1, it starts, I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me up out of the depths and did not gloat, did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down into the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you, his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. Here we see when David is on that high ground, he is starting with God. He is remembering all of the blessings and benefits of being someone who is loved and cared for by the Lord. Years later, David Martin Lord Jones would write this. He would say, never start with your problems. Never. Never start with earth. Always start in heaven. Always start with God. See, I think he has the right perspective that we always start with God. But if you've lived long enough, which I'm sure all of us have, you realize that things happen to throw us down into the pit. One commentator said this. He said, Psalm 30 is particularly adept in its expression of the ease with which we can slip from security to dismay. Something always happens to throw us down into the pit. And it happened to David too. He records it with these words. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced, if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. See, David has a moment where the presence of God feels like it's left him. Whether it's just a life's circumstance or God just feels distanced, you are thrown down into that pit. And in those moments, I think that we are to stay with God. Since we've started with him, we inevitably run into life's problems. And during those moments, we are to stay with God. Dave Martin Lloyd-Jones would write this about those kinds of situations. He said, we must always start in heaven with God. Then, having done that, we come to earth and face the problems of life and of living as we find them in the light of what we've already seen with God. See, down in that pit, we need the resources that we have caught glimpses of of God and his kingdom of heaven come to bear on earth to be able to weather those storms. So we start with God, we stay with God when we're thrown into the pit, and lastly, we seek the face of God as he lifts us back out. This is how Psalm 30 ends. You have turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart, my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. While David is down in that pit, as he's attempting to stay with the Lord, he seeks the Lord's face, and the Lord is the one who lifts David back up out of the pit. See, I think this path is all too familiar. We have moments of feeling strong and high and everything's going our way, but eventually life will throw us a curveball that sends us down to the pit. So even though we've started with God, we need to stay with God in those low moments. And as we do that, we seek his face and allow him to lift us back up out of the pit. My prayer for you is that you live that kind of Psalm 30 life. You won't be able to avoid uh, hardship and life's negative circumstances. But I believe that if you start with God, you stay with God, and you seek his face, you will, because God will be with you, 
be able to weather life's storms.